Hey guys, thanks for checking out my uh, review of the Pelican Mission 100 kayak available this year 2023 at Costco and I want to give you guys an honest to God, no holds barred, brutally honest truth review of this kayak and why I selected it. Um, this first video will be just on the stock version which is the one on the left and mine is on the right which will be a follow up video which I have heavily modified from the store. Uh, so let's start with the, the bare bones version. I'll give you guys a kind of a walk around tour. Um, as you can see, it comes with a carry handle. It's actually very comfortable on the hand, so no, no need to upgrade anything there. A couple of uh, bungees up front. They say it's to hold a radio or something to that effect. I really wouldn't trust it much for how little it can hold up here, but you know, use your imagination. Um, and a feature here exclusive to the Mission 100 is a dashboard which comes with two storage compartments and a bungee. The bungee up here, I'm not sure what you'd put up there, but you know, again, you can find a use for that. Zippered pockets, these are really cool. Put your wallet, keys, you know, maybe a valuable or two, something you just don't, you want to have in front of you at all times. And you got plenty of storage space inside here. It's not waterproof. But I haven't gotten any water up here when I use it, so, you know, it should do the job. And then this one here we have for your phone, and you can actually use it through the vinyl here. You can touch the, the buttons and whatnot, and it'll still work, so it's, it's really a really nice feature. Um, underneath it is your standard basic kayak layout. Got a cup holder there. You can see that little tray to keep valuables and whatnot from sliding out. But the dashboard's really cool. Okay, moving on. Um, these are really cool. This is a standard feature. The knee guards or thigh guards. So when you're kayaking and your, your legs are inside rubbing against the rails, you're not going to be hitting the plastic. You have these rubber, rubber bumpers. So that's actually really nice. Comes with standard feet rests. They do make adjustable ones you can upgrade to, but this is how it comes. I find these work just fine. Okay, and the seat. The seats are really nice too, actually, the base model. Um, they're not that bad. They're actually pretty comfortable. They make optional seats as well. Uh, thicker padding, higher backrest. This is the standard version with a water bottle holder down below and right in the middle of your lap there. Um, the only thing on here in this video that is not stock is the hand grips, which my wife has put on. But other than that, everything will be stock on here. Um, it comes with one bungee on the right hand side so you can secure your paddle when not in use. Um, the stock version here comes with these whole mold marks. These are for a fishing rod upgrade you can get, which I have done to mine, so you'll see that in the, the other video. And a basic standard storage netting in the back, which is actually pretty nice. I wish it would have been bigger and covered more of this area as well, but you know, you get what you get. Drain plug and another handle in the back. So um, the one thing I picked this version over others is because of the scupper holes, which are these right here. If I can get down there. It's hard to see. But these go all the way through the, through the kayak, so water will backsplash up through here. Or if you get water over the top, it will drain out, which is really nice. Give you an overview shot here. So it's pretty basic. Oh, and it's actually, the cockpit area is not too tight. It's not too hard to get in and out. It's actually plenty of foot room. Everything's right within reach. And it's actually a great view from when you're sitting inside. You can still see everything, even with the dashboard. Now, what I want to do is tell you is when I was looking at a kayak, I had inflatables before. And I wanted to uh, upgrade to, you know, a resin type one, a plastic one. And we looked at four models this year. And I'll tell you why we picked this particular one first one we looked at was the Pelican, all of them are Pelican by the way. First one we looked at was the Pelican Mustang 
and it was it was pretty good it wasn't bad it was basically the same model as this except it did not have the scupper holes which went all the way through they were like fake or dummy scupper holes it was like the, the mold indentation but they didn't actually go through so I didn't like that and it was the same other than that and this right here this I really liked on this mission 100 model you can see that the drain when you get water up in here it actually has the mold marks to drain out where all the other versions this was a straight shot so it just basically pulled up water in this area not a huge deal but I really liked it uh, the Pelican Brom I believe that's how you pronounce it Brom Brom it's the same exact as this model again didn't have this same type of scupper holes it didn't go all the way through but it came with the fishing holders and then the, the Mish or I'm sorry the Pelican um, Trailblazer was the same as the others as well except it really was not good back here this was actually all hogged out so if you got water over here it was going to get you wet it would hit you in the back of the seat and flood your compartment so it, it, i didn't really like that feature and i almost bought it until i realized that so you know if, you, if you're a big fan of getting your back wet then that'd be the one for you but again these are on sale at costco right now i believe or they they were for like 300 bucks base price is 400 i paid 400 but i got the price match so i was happy got it down to 300 but actually on the water i love this kayak it's, it's great it's very stable i'm 240 plus so and six foot so i mean it, it, i handled it fine and we get some choppy water where we take it out so it it, it performed very well so i think you'll like it um, that's my review. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did to mine in the next video. Thanks for checking it out.